Good morning, everyone. And so sorry for that little latency that I got there. It's just I'm limited with space right here. I'm on Cosmo coming to visit my parents just for vacations, as you may have seen. So I did not brought all of my equipment with me because that would have been taking the whole the whole house around. But yeah, I'm just a little strangle on space and screens. That one's gonna be seeing me a little bit like um slow around, right? So hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Friday follow up. Today, we're going to be jumping straight to, I'm going to be saying one or two trades and then the promise of yesterday's strategy or the way of using a multi-reactor or multi-time frame. Uh, so you guys also can use it and see how I overall use it. I call it a squeeze of the of the dynamic reactor because it, it's kind of like going, trying to squeeze as blood pry within an outcome. So good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's. Let me shout out Mr. t -Sack. Hey guys, let's give a t a little heart right there on the chat please let's welcome him he is one of our top developers in chart prime and he's been working like no other man so thank you uh, there t -Sack, for all of your hard work and also guys just so you know we're gonna be oh he is gonna be updating chart prime in the upcoming months we don't have a release date just yet but expect a couple of a very very exciting things uh, happening to the next updates. So yeah, guys, let's jump to the charts because we have a ton of things to look at. Uh, today is Friday. I don't want to take a whole lot of things, but there's something I want to bring awareness to. All right. So it's kind of like a migraine of salt on keeping you guys safe. It's not going to be too long. Just bear with me in looking out this this charts that I have prepared for you guys here. So let's go to my charts. All right. I'm going to be dropping you guys a link to this video. All right. This guy speaks Spanish. This is the link of video. We are not associated with them or with him. He has or he owns Platzi. Platzi is where you prepare yourself for the like the most recent what is it careers security stuff and stuff that are popping up in the world that might be not in like in majors or as careers throughout in universities just yet all right so he kind of like teaches stuff all right uh it's pretty good it's pretty good but i'm not trying to promote him at all but he does kind of like he talks about what's happening in the world all right guys so i just wanted to show you this little piece in here so let's watch it together. It's in Spanish. That's why I, ha I have activated this subtitles. If you don't speak Spanish and you still want to take a look at those, just go here to, what is it? In subtitles, all right? And then on subtitles, you go to translate. And once you translate it, you go to English, right? So let's just take a look at what he's saying just for this little party here because we need to be prepared. Hey, yes, I do, I do. Dig it? <laughs> I do. I es, hablo español. Un poquito. Bueno, en realidad es mi native language. It's my native language there. So, <laughs> yeah, I do speak Spanish. So shout out for everybody that does also speak Spanish. <laughs> so, guys, let's take a look at what he's saying because this is important. This is not political advice. This is not financial advice. I'm just throwing here my grain of salt to, to keep you guys safe out there in the world, especially because most of us are involved in crypto or have some kind of security investment all right so let's watch let's see what he says all right guys so that's everything that i wanted to share about here i love spanish thank you but i heard i heard him talking like uh yeah i didn't get it i just but i did send you guys a link there just so you can activate the 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 subtitles there yeah it's very true what he says i, I look up to him right i i believe that he's one of the, mo the smartest guys in the internet and i keep track on what he does his value it's on his video and then he next biggest value is what he offers on his paid website i'm not saying to go pay for anything we are not associated i'm not promoting him or anything right but this is very important if you even if you don't care about war war cares about you and it's knocking on your door all right guys so uh something that is happening right now actively as we speak on my country is that my country has purchased a pegasus all right pegasus it is the one software that i don't remember which government used it to hack jeff bezos 
personal iPhone, personal cell phone. That's where, you know, uh, everything came out that he was hanging out with another girl and he ended up divorcing, right? Not only that, they leveraged that information to get a little bit more out of him and also to st to make his statement, a global statement right there. All right, so guys, what, and you might be seeing, well, OC guy, you're talking about movie things like, right? And you might be saying, this is not going to happen. If And if you are thinking like that, or maybe you're thinking to yourself, well, I have nothing to hide, right? I mean, I just a simple joke. Well, then you are probably over 30. So raise your hand if you're over 30. I'm sorry I'm raising mine, right? Raise your hand if you're over 30. And here's the thing, here's the thing right now, if you're over 30, you are getting into that piece of population that can be manipulated. All right, that can be manipulated by thinking that nothing too severe is happening. Why? Because you're basically at the half of your life and you, I mean, you can speculate things going much worse and also speculating things didn't go on as worse as you imagine. So that is where we should be doing our due diligence. And this is again, not financial nor political advice. This is where we need to start doing our own research. And I'm talking about everything, your investments, your money, right? Your political statements, where you're looking at in the future, where are you going to be voting? Not, not political advice not political advice you can vote for anyone you get or i want all right so yes i'm also there you go so this is important and not only on the on the political political grounds right on global grounds uh let me get you a little situation here right because i used to think that i'm an average joe who's gonna be looking at me i'm not i don't have that much money right to be targeted but uh recently someone try to get to take a loan on my name, right? That's what I'm speculating. I cannot say it for sure, but I was getting some rings that someone was looking into what banks looks to open a credit, all right, under my name. So this is very dangerous. Why? Let's just think for a second. Let's just make out something, all right? I need to make sure that we are making this up, all right? So let's make up this, uh, this scenario. You're an average Joe, right? And maybe, I don't know, let's say your country, let's say my country, it's in war with some other country, all right? With La La Land, right? Let's just say that La La Land and Mexico are in war, right? So now maybe La La Land, it's get a hold of a bunch of average Joe's information from Mexico, right? And they start asking for microcredits that might not be that important, but they can get it because they hack into the biometric information of me and a bunch of other citizens, fellow citizens, all right? Then what they do, they get that credit, they spend it on something that they can shift back or relate back to their country and basically increase the theft on my countries, basically crippling the industries or the, the financial things. And in the meantime, right between La La Land and Mexico are in war, right in, in like in, in warfare well i'm just in between and now having to pay for something that i did not purchase right so i mean guys yes it things are getting very very crazy very fast especially now going into ai right so, so guys this is only my little grain of salt take it as it is right this is not political advice this is not security advice this is not financial advice, all right? I'm just trying to inform you guys what might be happening and also telling you what I'm going to be doing. What I'm going to be doing is taking a look back at all of my security steps that I have already in place and trying to find the glitch where I am naive, all right? Where I am ignorant of. Why? Because being ignorant is not a bad thing. Acknowledging that you are ignorant and doing nothing about it that's what it gets bad, right? Because, I mean, there is no way that we all can learn everything at once. Uh, it's just that simple and possible, right? So I'm fine being ignorant, but I'm going to be choosing what ignorance I'm going to be fine with and what ignorance I'm going to be fought, fighting over, all right? So, yeah, little tip there, little friendly tip there, guys, for you. Stay safe, please. Do not fall for scammers. I mean, what else can I say, guys? You are already grown-ups, so my best wishes, guys, and this was my little grain of salt. So let's jump right now into the charts right away because we have a couple of things to look at. Let's take a look at Adam. So Adam is being moving out of here. We have a very nice 
bounce all the way back down here with that little reversal that we have here peak seeker confirming our divergence there on that let me turn off this magnetic here on that fair value gap dynamic reactor and moving over on the four hour what is there well we haven't had where we're looking at the previous high here so we need to keep an eye on what could be happening happening and as you can also see we're having the little duck face right so let's see what happens usually we have that duck face depending on how far that let's just call it pick <laughs> i don't know how else to call it morning morning aaron what's up nice search let's see oh i'm gonna get back to that all right how far this this retracement could be we could be going for another support so you can see we're using that fair value gap box as a beginning of support so we could be seeing that in fact we were almost there right and then what happened with that little bounce well we make a double top in this case could be called as maybe a triple top or maybe an upranging zone in here finalizing breakthrough retest and off we go all right so what could it be happening right now we're having that duck face right there right and i'm seeing that little candle pumping up what could i be expecting i could be expecting maybe a further movement at least the weaking point but i'm also expect expecting of being hitting this section here i could be looking at support and resistances and how be there look at that it is not about the breakout it's about the retest and guess what all right little tip there guys this is not financial advice you know what i'm going to be doing there also let's visit what was it i believe it was let's let's take a look at our alerts here let me move that out of the way here we go much better icp and Pi, my lord, Pi. What a story, what a story. I was looking, remember that? I was looking to enter as soon as we break out. Well, then I waited for that breakthrough. It be, I basically entered right there at the beginning of the candle, went up the way, all the way up here, and I was, hey, rock and roll. Very nice. And guys, what is part of my strategy? What do I do when I have my first body and candle or body my, my first candle, body and wig closing in the queen. Let me know, guys, especially the veterans. What should I be doing there? Target, exactly. TP plus moving stop loss to entry. Exactly. There you go. Extra kudos for dig it. Yes. So what I usually do here is that I move my stop loss to entry here. All right. So that is the first thing I want to do. Why? Because remember, I'm trying or I'm doing my best not to lose in the market because 90% of the traders are losing in the market, all right? So I'm thinking out of the box, all right, what is that 10% of the other traders doing that's different from that other 90%? Well, that 90% that is losing in the market, they're trying to earn as much, all right, as they can. In my case, I'm thinking out of the out of the box and then thinking the other way around, which is, all right, not losing in the market, all right? So that's going to be taking some security steps for, to ensure I don't lose in the market. And then whatever else I do, when you rule out losing, what is there left to do, guys? Let me know right here to my left. When you rule out losing, what is there to do left? Take profits, exactly. So winning, I mean, it's the only natural next step, right? Or at least break even, but yeah, winning. There you go. So what happened here? I take, I move my stop to entry here, take some 50% out. Very nice call because the very next candle took me out, make a dead cat bounce. And then I just decided not to chase after it, right? Why? Because I was just bouncing or getting out of this bull flag that we were looking at remember these two alerts that we had going on there well then as you can see they played out beautifully all right so as you can see i was supposed to be entering right here what happened i just was a little too slow and that's it nothing to do there i mean i was a little bit too slow i ended up entering here still i went out in profits all right all right that maybe wasn't the greatest trade ever but I'm still that percentage richer, right? So I have increased my wallet despite the, the movement reversed on me. All right, so what's, what am I looking at this point? I'm looking at my next, not revenge, all right? Not revenge, but my next entry here. What I'm seeing is that I broke 
through the dynamic reactor. I also broke through this important trend line. All right, it's not about the breakout. It is about what, guys? What is it about? You know the sensor. It is a curious to see what's entry for Pyth retest exactly. I mean, my next entry there, major pain? Or, oh, my next entry. All right, we are technically we've turned, oh, this is one hour, all right? Just so you know, we are under one hour. Technically, we've turned bearish, all right? In the hard time frames, we are still bullish, all right? Uh, so, I'm gonna be taking the next step being very, very cautious. Why? Because despite it doesn't look like, but let's perform a quick DNA analysis. Remember that we've been looking at that uh, previously in previous classes. By the way, guys, my internet's a little slow. That's why I'm uploading slowly those classes. Uh, it was, what is it? Monday's class is already up for you to watch. Today, I'm gonna get done with Tuesday, Thursday's class. And tomorrow, I'm gonna upload the rest of the classes. So just so you guys know. Also, MSG, I do have a message pending for you up there. I haven't read it. I'm gonna go there in a minute. Let's see, I see where it's, it is in regards to VWAP. It's doing a VWAP bounce. Yes, could be exactly MSG. So uh, MSG, yes. Uh, basically, I'm looking for a bounce, not for the breakout. It's about the retest, all right? So there's something about this retest. Uh, there's two ways of correcting. Technically speaking, all right, technically speaking, ranging, it's also another way of correction. Do you agree? Give me your thumbs up if you agree. And if you disagree also, please give me your thumbs down just so I can see it, all right? Correcting, I mean, ranging, it's another way of correcting. Let me know. 100%, 100%, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so we are in the same page in here. So what is the price doing right now? What is the price doing right now? Is it by any chance ranging? Exactly. All right, so <clears throat> I need to be careful here, all right? Because despite I'm looking just like MSC mentioned, and that is actually the plan, enter at the top, all right, for a reversal for the flip of the ribbon and continuation to the downside, just like we had in here, look at that, you see? Ranging, which is correcting, you see? We didn't win for the retest all the way up here. We corrected by ranging, all right? What happened? Then we went farther down as we had that flip of the ribbon here, as we went going up with a fake out, well, almost fake out, right? And zero line rejection, all right? Let's see another example of this, this section in here. Let's see what happened. Let's mark it so we can have a cleaner view there, or clearer view. From here to, let's say here, all right? Going down, all right? Little range, and I'm saying this with this stone because it also has a double purpose. And then I have that double bottom of that flip of the ribbon, I went farther down. What happened here? What is that happening there? And let me repeat this because this is a trick question up next. Going down, little range, falling down, V-shaped recovery, and... Oh, you got it there, Iron, Iron, don't you? Yes, there you go, brother. I know you got it there. Uh, as soon as I saw that, yeah, wake up. Yes, guys, wake up. So, this is not exactly Wyckoff. It could become Wyckoff maybe in the 30 minutes, right? I'm not there, but I'm still forecasting that idea, all right? Remember, it is important to always forecast. It is not a complete analysis because it is not there, all right? But I'm not going to be, let's just say, naive enough, all right, to not prepare for what the uncertainty of the future may come, all right? So far, I see two things there, all right? I see, uh, I don't remember who said shampoo. I believe that was a total loco, right? So I do see shampoo, and let me know what's that. And also, I see a possible, a possible white cuff continuation down. Yeah, there you go. Head and shoulders, head and shoulders, the shampoo thing, yes. Let me know who who, who said that, the shampoo thing, right? Uh, I believe it wasn't Toro Loco, right? Was, wasn't it? Wasn't you, brother? Let me know. All right, so let's explore those two situations. All right, first of all, what could I do in this case? Well, 
if I have a support here, and then I also see, look at this entry point with a dashed line here, right? This this other bouncing here with a dashed line here. Well, then I could be looking for a possible re-entry zone somewhere around that zone, right? Or somewhere around this zone. I know you're going to be saying, all right, guys, well, it's not that I know, but I'll also be saying to myself, well, that actually escalated too quick, too fast, right? I mean, now from, from two little zones, I'm having a sandwich of zones, right? So I'm going to be looking for the best case scenario, all right? My best case scenario will be lower, right down here, all right? But guys, what would I be using to confirm where am I going to be entering? Right here, little tip. Also, there's a hundred shoulders. El Toro, yes, four, exactly four. All right. So I'm, I'm at this point, I'm preparing for the worst case scenario. All right. The worst case scenario. So in the worst case scenario, I'll be looking for the flip of the ribbon at some huge support in here. All right. Let's take a look at that. Not that worst case scenario. Let me just start. Oh, control C. And this is like crazy to clear this up a little bit. All right and look for the most immediate movement that I could be having. The most immediate movement that I could be having, it is this movement to a downside. So what's gonna be next? Well then, am I gonna be aiming for this possible entry or am I gonna be aiming for maybe the top of the range? For myself, I'm gonna be aiming for the top of, my, of this range and because I also see a head and shoulders possibly playing out, well then, I'm gonna be clearing everything up in here, so bear with me. Clearing everything, redrawing my important trend line in here, all right? And then going for my little house, how, that's how Piper calls it. My head and shoulder lines in here. I do have this up in here, but I don't feel like that should be it, all right? So I'm gonna be using the convenience of this trend line going up here and the base of this other line here, which is number one resistance, all right? And I'm gonna be marking it somewhere around there to make this bull's eyes section in here. You see it? All right, having said that, because this is gonna be a risky entry, all right? Very risky, and guys, could you guys tell me why is this a very risky entry? Yes, we're bearish. Look bearish, full on. Yeah, it could be, but we are greening candles, all right? That's the only thing that is messing with my brain at this point. Why? Because let's take a look at back what has happened. Look at that. When I go green, yes, I usually move up, and I could be on this section. There is one key difference, all right? There's one key difference here. The key difference, it's like compared to the dynamic reactor, where it was a price action what, where, was, where was that price action, all right? It was above, right? And it did not broke on the first try. Let's take a look at here. At this point, yes, I was technically above, but right away, I broke it, all right? I need to be careful. So what I'm gonna try to do here, I'm gonna try to hedge this entry. So if, I, if it goes down, since I lost my chance to enter here, all right? I'm gonna go try to enter down there. Remember my worst case scenario at this point, all right? I have possible flip of the ribbon, all right? Trade your fever CMA, that is a great suggestion, Darren. Love it. Let's do a fever retracement tool here. I'm gonna turn on magnetic tool here. I'm gonna go all the way down here and then I'm gonna take the same high, all right? Which is mostly the same other one. So let's just take this one that has already happened, all right? So where are we right now? What is this two lines in here? And for that, let me turn this one off so we can see it better. The golden pocket, exactly. Look at that, right? So we are right now in the golden pocket. So if I break this range, which is between the golden pocket, guess what am I looking for? If I bounce from this golden pocket, again, where is my vertex? Guess what am I looking for? Exactly. Exactly. There you go, Measure Pain. So, yes, love it, brother. Love it. So, let's make things a little bit easy on us, all right? Let's just define entry points. Again, not financial advice, but let's just narrow it down to something more digestible, all right? So, 
Uh, there's a ton of ways that we can take on board this. But again, since I'm going to be trying to jump into this trade, I'm going to be handling my personal way. All right. And I'm going to be explaining that to you guys. So first things first, compensating for what I mean, the worst case scenario and also looking at what is the most possible scenario. All right. What is the most possible scenario? Keep going down. Why? I see this starting off. I mean, I'm not sleeping tonight again to get my entries on pay. Yeah, possible. I, I mean, I've been sleeping like 2 a.m. every single night since the last week. And that's why you can see this huge, like, I don't know, a -bax. I don't know how you call them. But yeah, that's because uh, I've been I've been working on a couple of stuff that I'm going to try to bring up to you guys. Uh, I want to start making some short content video and I'm kind of like a scene how or where am I going to be going towards it? I'm studying your questions and trying to maybe bring up a, a little bit more content there, right? But just there. I mean, Friday 24-H session. Yeah. All right. I mean, come on. That, that will be a little too much. I mean, I don't know how far my voice can go, but I love it there, Major Payne. Really, really, really appreciate that you're willing to hear this high-pitched voice all day long. That that really, it's it's fluttering. Thank you so much for that, brother. Oh, no, coffee. Well, yes, please. Yes, I've been drinking coffee like crazy today. Oh, by the way, again, shout out for the Chicago people there. Beautiful people there. Talk to you also, MSC. I see that you are from Chicago. Chicago, love that city. Frank Lloyd Rice, one of my favorite architects in the, in the history. So beautiful, beautiful architecture, beautiful city, beautiful people. Let's see, espresso every day. Oh, I do my espresso. I did not brought my espresso machine and I don't have an espresso machine here, right? But I do usually my my espresso. And but go and see. A little quick tip is that when you pour your espresso pack and you pack it once, uh, when you tamp it, put one table what tablespoon on unrefined uh, brown sugar on top of it. And then put it to the machine, lock it, and brew it that way. That is a it's called a Cuban espresso. Man, if you're doing lattice with that, Jesus, Jesus, the punch of energy that you're going to get from there and also the that that creamy sweetness because the, the little foam, it also tastes amazing. Little, little tip there for you, buddy. Uh, espresso shots, spring green, YC wear, F <laughs> so yeah, it's great. Uh, let's see, harsh crush, though, harsh crush. You're talking about uh, the espresso? Not really. Not really. I haven't had a hard crash on espresso after drinking that. Because I don't I try not to drink that much sugar because drinking sugar that is that is what it gets you kind of like a, you know like like zombie mode. All right, guys, you are such a sweet community, guys. You get me talking all day long. You know what? I need to make a podcast so we can talk about everything else because I really want to focus in this, but you guys are so sweet and so, I mean, interesting that I also want to keep talking about everything else. Guys, you are the best. You are the best. Guys, please, high five. <laughs> high five there. Love you guys, for real, for real. This is my favorite time of the, of the day, to, right now, being with you guys, for sure. There you go. Thanks, Major Payne. <laughs> Love it. Love it. All right. Let's dive into the into the because into the analysis and then also into my strategy there. I really want to show you how is it going. But let's let's narrow down this into hard points of entry, right? And hard specific point to point entry there. All right. Bob, hey Bob, I did actually I uh, had a question for you there on your on a rising wedge or something. Uh, hello from outside Chicago. Hey, oh, by the way, by the way, Bob, what part of outside Chicago you are in? Uh, when I got to Chicago, I didn't stay in Chicago main, main city. I stayed at Pueblo, Pueblo, Chicago, or Pueblo. I don't know how you pronounce it. And then I take the, the little train to Chicago. I love that little train. Oh, my God. It just gave me so 60 vibes. Beautiful. Thank you, Kim Cool. Thank you so much. Oh, cologne. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I believe that is that. I don't quite remember. I, I'm not gonna talk about it because I don't quite remember. I don't want to give false data there. But I believe that Pueblo is farther back to Oakland, and then I I go through Oakland. I'm not 100 sure in that. But yeah, a long time I haven't gone to Chicago. It's a couple of years there. Bob, I'm your neighbor. Beverly. Hey, nice, nice. Major pain. It's gonna be very yeah. It's going to. Uh, by the way, Andrew Payne, give me your entry points in here, and then I'm going to be comparing to mine. 
All right, so there we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna be looking at this range in here, all right? And I'm gonna get rid of this, what is it, a fever tracement for a little bit so we can have a cleaner view. 0 0.331 and 0 0.31, where my two entries, perfect. 0 0.331, let's, let's roll with that one. 0 0.331, oh nice, look at that, beautiful. Yeah, beautiful, there you go. And 0 0.325, 32, oh there we go, yep, absolutely. Uh, this is if we go down. I also want to try to maximize my entry. And I need to be a little bit careful because again, look at what has happened before on that signal in here, right? That we have a retracement, we end up going up, all right? But we have this beautiful candle, right? I'm not expecting one candle as big as this, but look at how it repeats over and over and over and over, right? So I am expecting one of those absorption candles to happen. In that absorption candle, I'm looking at you there, Mr. Measure Pain, because I believe you got it right there. You got it right. Yeah, so let's just wrap it up. So I'm gonna draw my head and shoulders neckline in here. As you can see, we are right against that head and shoulders. It also coincides with my little range in there. So as soon as I start breaking ranges, all right, to the upside or to the downside, I'm gonna be start adding a couple of positions there, all right? So I'm gonna add some, uh, hey, I'm almost said, guys, what am I missing? All right, what am I missing? Let me know right here. Alarms, there you go, Major Pain, great. Right, perfect. So I could have two options, all right? I could add my manual alarms, I do, and that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing, all right? I'm gonna add an alert in here at my dynamic reactor, all right, a little bit below dynamic reactor, and that's to give me a little room for my bull's eye entry in here, all right? And that way I want to see if I'm still flipping down doing this little double bottom formation that I usually have, remember DNA analysis, all right? then I'm gonna be aiming for a retracement, all right? For a farther move into the downside, still on short. If for the contrary, I break out and then, and then I see this ribbon in a possible duck face, remember that duck face that we were talking about, right? But let's do it going up. There we go, this duck face in here, this duck, all right? So this duck face in here. So I'm gonna be doing that, that duck face, right? So this little duck face, that usually pushed me to a continuation of that movement, all right? So let's see, <laughs> I'm just gonna throw this as a joke, but let's see if we can do a duck face alarm in there. I mean, of course that, that cannot be, but I, I'll just throw it there, out there to see if we can make it. All right, if I see that duck face playing out in here, I'm gonna go for a breakout retest and off we go, all right? That dog face, yeah. <laughs> Remember that back in, what was it, 2010, 2005? There was a trend where, where women start doing that that lip thing, the dog face, and then snipping some, some, there you go. Yeah, that was hilarious. Love it, love it. One way shout out for you, brother. Major pain shout out for you guys. Guys, if you're new here, remember that I'm trying to get you to talking here because just by participating, you are earning points that you can be exchanging for free trading view coins, at least, and many other prices. So give it a shot, give it a shot. I mean, it. the worst thing that it happened is that we all have a laugh, right? And we have a better time and you get some free points there. So yeah, all right. Dig it, what's up, brother? What the snap? <laughs> yeah, all right, so far, let's place another alert. I'm gonna place my other alert right here breaking through that range. Why, I'm so close to the bottom edge that, I don't know, I don't want to have that false alert ringing and then distracting me because I also want to look at other things. So I'm gonna be going below this wig before this other wig, right? Somewhere in the middle. I'll call it somewhere around there, I would say. So that's a, those are gonna be my two alerts right there. So I can look for a re-entry there. Guys, also remember, we are we also are looking at the one hour and I'm trying to get as many, I mean, given, given that extra long period for me to have that four hour pattern. Because let me show you something. I'm gonna go to the four hour. I'm gonna hide everything in here and Look at this upranging zone that we have going on, all right? We have our first rejection, all right? And if we can make this as a fake out to the upside, we could be going back to the top. Look at how we have this double top formation here and how we got this wick down here. That's what more than ever, 
my entry zones are going to be for a possible week down this section here the same sections that what is it sorry major pain was looking at all right so there you go guys we are on high consolidation in the fourth hour so we could be expecting that double top to happen and i'm hoping for that week zone to happen right so i'm preparing for both case scenarios this is why this is important to look at the higher time frames all right any questions on Python? let me know professional dog face <laughs> break out dang it love it brother amazing let see thank you thank you so much major pain by the way major pain this shout out big shout out for you brother because we've been looking at pipe thanks to you and thanks to you we've been making some cash there so brother thank you so much for your for your suggestions and guys also if you have a suggestions you know what to do here and we all can make money together all right let's move on into the strategy guys throw me out an asset whatever asset it could be uh sorry asset before that msg let me read your your message i promise to read that and uh, i i'm man of my word here so here we go nxtp in a in at 2.26 out of nice look at that 1000 has 787 gains brother you are amazing gmbl guys i i think when we need to start looking at a little bit more into stocks uh so guys if you're into stocks also throw them i know one way lost apple and I appreciate that he always comes with Apple. So thank you so much for that one way. So if you also like to me, for me to take a look at anything, let me know. Love your program. Thank you so much, MSG. I appreciate it a lot, brother. Man, it's a trilingual. Oh, your wife is trilingual, Arabic. Wow, amazing. I, I believe Arabic is one of the most beautiful languages out there and then i believe italian is also one of those beautiful languages out there also adam adam oh holy aramaic oh my god and english wow that is amazing i'm 62 and fully spun up on the climate of the world nice love it my friend had his identity stolen oh for 200k you see that i mean this is a life experience right there guys this is to be shown that we all are vulnerable and that was in the 90s don't yeah oh my god that was in the 90s look at that don't ever do biometrics yes dna fingerprints exactly msg thank you so much brother i appreciate that a lot so let's take a look at uh soul because that was oh no what is it avax all right AVEX or SOL, because those were the very first ones to be shown. So, guys, let's vote. AVEX, give me a heart. And SOL, give me a, a thumbs up. <laughs> All right. One per user, though. All right. No, one heart, two heart, three hearts, two likes. All right. Let's, let's wait two more. There you go. Hearts and hearts. All right. So, what was the winner? Let me know. You call out the winner, guys. You call out. You call it out. Avex. Perfect. Let's do Avex then. Avex is red. Perfect. Perfect. Let's do Avex. All right. Let me add here Avex. Avex. And here we got it. And I believe we have an ongoing uh, analysis on Avex, don't we? Let me know. I do believe so, but I don't see it. All right. Avex is being going crazy. Remember, we are bullish, guys. Where do we enter when we're bullish? Do we enter anywhere? What are we looking to enter in when we are bullish? So a locomotive already. Yes, Altero Loco. Soul has a great potential, by the way. I am I am holding soul, by the way, not financial advice. Uh, OC, take a look at Mo Moderna, MRANA. It's break a long trend line on Hurley and Weekly. All right, we're going to be taking a look at that after uh, what I promised to show you guys because we're running out of time. Uh, Conga, and I'll make a little space at the end of the class to do a quick overview on that. Promise. By the way, do not leave because I will need you to remind me fast the Moderna coin so I can look it up as soon as possible. Don't be sad, brother. Don't be sad. We need we need to we need to do a little bit on that on the strategies things, right? We, we've been prolonging it for a long time, so, and it's cool. 
So you're not going to regret it. Look at TLT. I don't know if we're going to be having time for TLT. If we do, I promise we'll look at it. If we do have time. Big pullback, retest. All right. Exactly. Major pain got it right here. So we're looking for a major pullback, retest to enter four longs. All right. So the first thing that we could be looking at are basically support and resistance. All right. So let's take a look at our support and resistance. It's not about the breakout. It's about the retest. We have that pullback. And what are we looking for entry right there? All right. We are looking for what? Exactly. Four. We're looking for four. Exactly. Love you guys so much. Yes. Above zero line. Exactly. So somewhere around that to enter. All right. And right now, let me show you what I do. I already have turned it on. All right. I'm going to be drawing. And this is to give you a graphical uh, heads up in here. All right. Where is my dynamic reactor? Remember, my dynamic reactor is telling me where is a high volume zone based on, on my current current time frame. All right. So as you can see, I'm forecasting based on the previous movement, I'm forecasting my 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 dynamic reactor. All right. This is just guessing at forecasting it based on educated cases. All right. I could also be maybe flipping sideways, which I'm not gonna be getting into that because that's gonna be the next step. All right. Let me go over my settings here and I'm gonna enable and uh, let me disable it. Let's enable it again. Enable reactor multi time frame. All right. Uh, once you enable it, you're gonna have this lines or this section in here. Let me remove it just so you can see it. Let's wait for that little eye to stop moving around. And this is the usual dashboard. All right. When it's too far away, that's when I start using or when I'm expecting a make or break movement, that's when I'm going to be turning on my multi time from react. All right. I want to see the squeeze as it happens. All right. Let's then I'm going to be turning on my reactor here about the zero line. Yep. Uh, you talk, uh, by the way, I did read again, major pains. He is talking about the four or flip of the ribbon above the zero line for that one. All right. So just so we keep track on that. All right. Now, very important. What are you going to be putting or placing? What are you going to be configuring this section here? All right. So that depends on what is your time frame. Let guys who requested first AVAX, let me know. And me perfect major break. Thank you for that. What is your time frame on AVEX? What is your best time frame of AVEX? Four hour and one hour. Perfect. Okay. Uh, let's do it on one hour just so we have a different perspective because I already have done it in, in four hours, right? I'm going to be explaining right now what I did on four hours and then let's do the exercise from scratch on the one hour. Uh, do you like, do you guys like the idea? And using the kernel, do you like that kernel? We could be adding that on top of that. All right, the evil people of Marina Moderna. <laughs> I don't know much about Marina Moderna. What is it about? It's a very interesting question and I'm not sure where to enter as it keep moving up of the old coin at the moment. Is it bullish or not much retest opportunity on reactor? All right, that has to do, let me do a little parenthesis right there, all right? This goes for man, Mani. What has happened? At since we broke above, right? What has happened when we get close to the reactor? All right. What has happened when we close to the re when we get close to the reactor? What has happened again when we get close to the reactor? Right. So that is a repetitive behavior. Remember that we're looking for a flip of the ribbon. Look at that sharp flip for a confirmation, extra confirmation, right? And like, for example, when we are too separated from that dynamic reactor, you could be adding something else. Like, for example, my, there, let's go here so you can see it, my prime train assistance, all right? Look at how well that prime train assistance, it's exactly doing that, all right? Giving you the support or the assistance that you need, all right, on the current trend. So, a retest, a pullback is it, you're not entering just because you have a pullback, all right? That is only one of those big characteristics, all right? Then you need to look for or wait for a flip of the ribbon. Maybe you can be looking for support resistances, all right? I have a resistance, now support, all right? And what do you think I'm just waiting in here? Just in case I break down. If I break down and then do the flip of the ribbon, guess where is my flip of the ribbon going to be happening on the price chart? Did that answer your question, Manny? Let me know. Perfect. Perfect. Anytime, brother. Anytime, brother. 
Exactly, the flip of the ribbon, love it. Exactly, yes. So I call this a three layer strategy. That's basically how I base all of my strategies, all right? At the very beginning, I generated a three layer strategy which was step one, two, and three, and then hit, all right? But after that, I realized that the concept, the foundation of the three layer strategy goes way deeper than only one single strategy. So my base rule of thumb, all right? And I'm talking about, I'm talking as a professional trader, all right? As a trader that lives out of the, a person who lives out of their trades, all right? I only take trades if I have at least, at the very least, three different points of confluence that are telling me that is a good enough point to entry. And still, that is not good enough, all right? I mean, I'll be forcing my hand to enter only in three scenarios. And if that is the case, I'll do what we talked about yesterday with, I believe, we were explaining that with, who was it? Well, that's one, don't worry. We are explaining that half entry and then half entry, right? Exactly half and half, exactly half and half. So that way I can have exposure to it, all right? And again, remember every single time you open a trade, you are consenting and you are willing to lose whatever you place in that. If you're doing spot, this is not financial advice, but you could maybe hold it, all right? Let me give you an example. I'm holding since three years ago, wink, and I was looking at another one here. Let me see if I can, I had it. I mean, it's just in the back, in, in back end there. Wink, and what's the other one? I don't remember, another low, co low cap coin. Why? Because I am waiting for those huge spikes that they do, and I have my, my take profits all the way up there, all right? I'm being patient. I'm being patient. Three, you're patient, but that's patient, all right? So when I open a spot trade, I am, I, I know that I could be losing that position, all right? Exactly. But, yes, but I'm also not wanting to lose that position because I am behind a long-term scenario, all right? So that is a benefit to trade on spot other than trading on leverage. If you're doing leverage, I don't advise you to do leverage, but if you do, because I also do it, and this is not financial advice, make sure that every single time you enter a trade, again, not financial advice, it will be on isolated, you have your stop loss, and you are willing to lose whatever you place on that trade, all right? Just in case everything goes wrong, you know you could be losing that trade. All right, so just a little bit thing there to ease you up on what it could be happening because guys, I mean, this is the real life. We are gonna be hit at least once. I mean, we've been hit live here all together, right? Or at least I have been hit and you've seen how I get hit, right? You guys have also seen how it get the, I mean, the pith trade, right? How it reversed in me, right? And based on our strategy, we are able to, not to get out without losing when Pyth reversed on us, right? We even went out in gains. And guys, that is something, right? How many times the trade has reversed on you and you have ended up getting trapped in that trade or getting liquidated that position or actually making lost on that reverse trade, right? Remember, that's why we always try to not lose in the market. We're going after security, right? We're not going after risking. It's your money. Only you can take it serious and make all those steps to make it last and increase. Remember, and I'm going to bring back the last mantra that we haven't updated. Remember that I am only loyal to what? Where is my loyalty at? Your money. Yes. So MJ is my money and you guys. Perfect. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I learned from my mistakes. I learned from my mistakes. I know what to answer now. <laughs> so do you guys, right? Exactly. There you go one way. Your honey or my honey, my money. There you go, guys. You are smart. You are smart. CTS rhythm. What's up, brother? Reading you. We won't tell her. I promise. Yeah, let me see if she's, in, she's around. All right. All right. She's not. She's not. Either or. <laughs> 
<laughs> love it, love it. All right, now let's let's wrap it up with this. All right, let me clear this up in here and let me remove also my the rest of the indicators because we want to focus on the reactor here. All right, I'm forecasting my dynamic reactor. All right, let's go to the one hour. Why? Because remember, I am most profitable in the four hour. Remember, we are here to make money, not to waste money. So based on your math, all right, and your calculations, where are you making the most amount of money? Where are you the most reliable? Where you have the biggest win rate or the greatest win rate? And also, where is that equilibrium, right, that you're having? So for me, that I usually find it on the four hour. Not always, most of the time. That's why I, I tend to stick to the four hour, all right? So all around the four hour, there is an ecosystem, all right? There is a cluster of time frames. What do I do for higher time frames? I like to go to the most a popular time frame up ahead, which for me that is daily, all right? And then for lower time frames, I like to go on smaller. Oh, one second there. Sorry for that. This thing started to blip in me, and I thought it was something urgent. All right. Then I have an ecosystem of time frames. All right. I I go to daily for a higher time frame. All right. And I go to one hour for a smaller time frame. All right. Are we clear there? Let me know. Heads up, LC. I have the link ready to drop. I don't have to, oh, drop it, drop it, drop it, TZ, T Z T S rhythm, please. All right, guys, we have a great class today. It was very fun. The comment section, guys, it was amazing. It was amazing, priceless. We had the other there basically changing his nickname. I mean, it was great. It was great. Love it, guys. So go check it out because that is the morning extra that we have for you guys. So, I mean, you can start uh, having the news and also the very morning, early morning trades and then coming back in here to have like a, maybe a follow-up or a near extra on those trades. Yeah, go there, smash that like, and then see you back here. All right, moving on, dynamic reactor, all right? I'm gonna go higher on my dynamic reactor. Here we go. Let's see what is it happening. This is very, very, very parabolic, all right? I don't like it. Let's 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 cheat a little bit and let's compress it, all right? And that is just so my brain can perceive a little bit more these trend lines, all right? Um, again, I'm trying to quotation cheat it so my brain can read easy easily the things, all right? So remember, it's not about having the greatest brain ever, although I believe you do. We all have a great brain, right? But let's make it easy, right? Let's make it easy on it. Let's let, let it make it last. So I first of all have those trend lines, right? And then where is my dynamic reactor? All the way down there, all right? Let's do the same exercise on the one hour. All the way here, and as you can see now on the one hour, these lines make much, much more sense, doesn't it? All right, and where is my dynamic reactor? Here is my dynamic reactor, all right? so. At this point, and this is exactly what we're gonna be shifting to the one hour, and just bear with me for a second, all right? It is that I'm still too far away from the other from the other dynamic reactor. So I right? remember, this is daily, this is four hour, and this is one hour. All right, what I'm one and that looks like two. <laughs> Let's do one. Here we go. One, the purpose of my multi time frame reactor is first of all, see how bullish I am, all right? So also, when I start seeing maybe bearish in here, when I start breaking through, I know I'm heading to the four hours, all right? Well then, I could be preparing for maybe a reaction on the four hours and a bounce to the one hour. You see the squeeze that happened between these two reactors let me know if that makes sense perfect there you go nice so that is the squeeze that i'm looking at here but i can do better all right let's go step by step the first thing or the first issue i'm gonna be acknowledging here is that all right i have the daily all the way down here and despite it's a, it is useful because what if all right what if and let's go to daily what if I have a pullback here? Where am I going to be pulling back to? I guess, and let me just even make this a little bit better. There you go. I'm guessing that I'm going to be pulling back 
to my dynamic reactor, all right? Remember, I also need to add my support resistance, but that's gonna be the next step, all right? Exactly, Aaron, you are perfectly right. Heavy support, perfect. Couldn't have said it better. Shout out for you, brother, by the way. There we go, perfect. So, as you can see, I'm too far away and I could maybe narrow it down in here, all right? So, I see, and I'm not gonna remove stuff because I already have the drone, all right? I'm gonna go to my one hour, all right? And my one hour is gonna be now my center, the center of my ecosystem of my time frames, all right? So, guys, honest question here. Remember how from the four hour, I look at the most important or most popular time frame lower, which is the one hour. Remember, I was my center was the four hour, and then look at the most popular time frame to the higher range, which was the daily. All right, let's now look at now the centric point being one hour. Honest question: What is my higher time frame that you could be looking at if you are standing on the one hour? What is your higher time frame? Four hour, perfect money. I do also agree with that. One week, hmm, I don't know. God, look at how far away is your daily, right? We're trying to get it close in here. Six hours, uh, could be, but we're gonna be pushing it farther down. I mean, totally valid, guys, totally valid, all right? But I'll, at this point, and we're gonna be exploring the six hour one. All right, two hours could also be, yeah? Two hours could also be. Let's just leave it at the four hour here, just because I already have it thrown there, all right? And then, what is the lower time frame that I could be looking at? 30, 50, what time frame would you would you rather like? 12 hours, eight even, all right, 15 minutes. Yeah, I like it, 15 minutes, yeah. And it seems like 15 minutes, it is the most popular, right? In fact, I would think that you would have said 30 minutes, but perfect, perfect, the 15 minutes it is. All right, let's go to the 15 minutes. And then, draw the 15 minutes, uh, the reactor, all right? So what is happening now with that dynamic reactor? Right, exactly. Great minds think alike. Love it so much. Let's see, Aaron saying, you want to think like another trader. They are looking for higher chance of support and resistance. And most people are taking TA on one for daily zone. Exactly. Well said, Aaron. Love it. Uh, Aaron, oops. No, you're, co you're totally right, brother. Uh, red and down. Perfect, exactly, the little fish. He's talking about what is happening to the reactor right now, all right? Red, and we're going for that retest, all right? So that could be a continuation of the trend, all right? Now, guys, this is the perfect squeeze scenario. We got it, we nailed it, all right? We are, now we are trapped between these two lines, all right? You see that? All right. Now, let's add our multi-time frame support and resistance. Here we go. And we're gonna be looking at the most important support and resistance. Look, at, yes, I do have one in here it's acting perfectly at, for the center of this, this very ugly funnel shape. You see this? I and J game over. I don't know, brother. I do, ha I do have high hopes in that. Let's see. Also, remember what I explained about the center of those kind of like a triangle of patterns, right? So it's also playing out right there. All right. So what are we looking at this point? Do we have a reversal? All right. Do, don't we have a reversal? All right. If we bounce back in, game on. Game on. Because first target, second target, and we're going to be waiting for the squeeze on that. When we break this quiz, we most likely are gonna be blowing out, all right? So, any questions? This is the way, exactly. This is the way, love it, love it. <laughs> In fact, that is an inside joke with MJ and I. We always say that, let's make it a thing here. Let's make it a theme. That's always amazing, love that series. If you if you agree with making a, a, a theme, give me the thumbs up. This is the way, great, yeah, this this is the way, this is the way, perfect. There you go, there you go. All right, new inside joke, guys, new inside joke. <laughs> We're gonna be, we need to add those on the, on the get started, get primed, I <laughs> love it. Oh, guys, get, one second, one second, I just need to. No, it's that. 
Big fan there, big fan, big fan. This is the way, love it, brother, love it. All right, getting back into the analysis, guys. Do you see how this, how is this playing out in my in my mind and also in the charts here? You see how that physical lines are kind of like a moving one to another, giving me that squeeze point. My oscillator settings, yes, uh, we can go over my oscillator settings. I did not change them much, but let me show you. I have divergences on, bands on, all right, and only on style. I go with bright white, full opacity, a little bit thicker, all right, continuous line, bullish control line, green, leave it as is in here, and then keep it a dashed and negative 95. Same thing here, red, uh, as is on opacity, as is on thickness, and also, oops, a dashed line and positive 95. That is the only thing that I changed, and that gave me this, that dashed line and this other dashed line. That is, that is, the, that is everything that I've changed on, on, on my oscillator, little fish. What picture? What picture? I'm missing on that. My friend gave me the mask from my birthday. Oh, really? Nice. Love it, brother. I see your message. Send it. You should. You should. Let's, you know what? Let's get started with a contest, all right? Let me plan the contest. Let me see what we can give away. And let's do a Star Wars theme contest related to trading. That could be fun. That could be fun. And also, that is just a way that we can still give away something for free. Oh, my God. Alex going to hate me. Yeah, absolutely. Let's wait for it. All right, guys. So, very important now. And let's wait. Let's wait for major pain. Let's wait for major pain. In the meantime, any questions? Let me know. Any questions on, on what we're seeing so far on the squeeze? Hey, Sol, what is up, brother? Hey, shout out to Sol, master of the charts there. Would you wreck using the double, triple entry on this? I don't think so, because at this point, I am looking for a, I mean, do you see that dot formation? That duck face? That is telling me that I could be far going farther up. All right, so the squeeze seems to be happening to the upside. Yeah. The, there you go, measure pain. Please, guys, let's send a heart there. Brother, that is amazing. Appreciate you took the time for that picture. Priceless, brother. Thank you so much. And oh my god, that is an amazing, amazing helmet. Guys, let's show some support. For that, let's send him a couple of hearts in here. Let's fill it up with hearts. Crazy. There you go. Look at that. I'm also clicking on those. Love it. Love it. Nice. The voice and everything. Oh, nice. This this is the way. Let's go. All right, guys. So, uh, Aaron, we were waiting. Sorry, not Aaron. Uh, Major Pain. Sorry, my bad. My bad. Major Pain. We were waiting for you to come back here, and big love for you, for you, brother. We send you a ton of hearts. So. We were waiting for you on this one, just to wrap things up in here. And I'm seeing the possible squeeze happening, right? We could be flipping back down, but I do see the little dog here, right? Let's do that dog face once again, all right? What happened to that dog? It kind of like it went up, especially when we seen that uh, that little movement up there, right? Let's, let's see if we can see another dog formation. They'll keep moving up. Well, then this one is a little bit... Oh, there you go. Look at that one. And beautiful movement, all right? So, the squeeze. All right. The squeeze, right now, it is a great opportunity to start using the fair value gap, all right? If we take a look at... If we take a look at this movement in here, all right? There we go. In a higher time frame, maybe one hour, we'll see that this is probably one or two candles. Would you agree on that? Perfect. All right. So if that is one or two candles, will that be considered a fair value gap or not? Yes. Perfect. All right. Let's use this other tool here. All right. So let's draw that gap here. And now we have the 50% midpoint of that fair value gap. All right. And it seems that we could be breaking because of the duck face we could be breaking upwards or squeezing out upwards here, all right? What could you target be based on the smart money concept for value gap? 
Do you see that? Reading you guys, support resistance. Yeah, by the way, great call there. We also need to add support resistance. We're gonna be doing it in a minute. And oh, Wyckoff. Wyckoff, Wyckoff, Wyckoff. Well, yeah, we did have Wyckoff in here going down a little range, V-shaped recovery, recovery not higher than the previous range. And we range for a little bit. We, oh yes, oh yes, you are completely right. How could I skip that? You are completely right. And look at that, that beautiful breakthrough and retest and off we go. So we are now waiting for that next white pattern right down here. Oh my God, that is genius, Aaron. Sorry, yeah, Aaron, face B. There you go, yes, that is genius, Aaron. Brother, extra kudos for you. There you go, there you go. So another point of confidence to the upside, right? We have our first initial point there. For me, that would have been an entry point right there for a long, all right? I cannot take the trade right now because we're in class, but if I'm able to, I could be doing it. But we're in the 15 minutes on Ava. I don't know. I'm not gonna be taking it unless it happens on the four hour, right? I mean, yeah, we could be going for that double top for a value gap, and I'll be looking a little bit better for that dub, possible double top or that bounce from the top in here to then start maybe making a head and shoulders lines in there. Does that make sense? Yeah, high risk because I try not to trade in the 15 minutes. I like it. It's very exciting. But again, more profit of the four hour. And I, I am entering with my own money here, right? So for me to, I mean, for me to put what my, uh, what is it, my money where my mouth is, I will be taking the best chance that I can where I'm most, where I'm most, the most profitable. Yep, so I do see it on the 15 minutes playing out, all right? Am I gonna be taking it? Not quite there. I'm not gonna be taking this 15 minutes straight. I'm gonna be taking it when I have it on the four hour. Credit with MJ's money, <laughs> she doesn't mind. Come on, <laughs> oh, I wouldn't do that. Please target to see AVAX, and Toro Loco, what's up brother? AVAX on the Q, it's irrelevant on the quarter. So what is it? It's irrelevant, first target 60. I will be waiting for the four hours as well. That's amazing, great. There's a fair value gap at 46.15, 46. Like this one? Yeah, this is another fair value gap, I'll say. But we already are in there and we did went back and retrace it of that. If that is what the one that you're looking at, 100% sure. No, that's fine, brother. Mojito, an hourly. All right, perfect. Brother, do not be afraid on calling stuff. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. Do not fear a mistake. There's no wrong answer. There's no wrong answer. There's only different opinions. The best thing that you can do for yourself and for the class is just throw it out there. We'll be happy to look at it, to look at it, and we all can learn from it. So yeah. And by the way, you're earning points just for typing. So, so yeah, give it, give it always a try. Always, always, always. Best place to learn. Yes, I do believe so. Yeah, market dynamics shows on one hour. Let's see, but you, how do you have your yours configured? Let's do mine. Let's take a look at mine. That, that is not fair value gap. Where is my fair value gap? Come on. Let's let's start it on here. Input fair value. Oh, but yeah, but mine I changed it to twelve hours from last time. Remember? All right. So my fair value gaps are just just out of the out of here. So we're in the one hour. Let's do the one hour here. Let's just chart easier, right? And click OK. Yep. You got one there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Very close to ours, right? Look at that. Couldn't make that up. All right, guys. So let's move into solo cam. Can I load? Here we go. Guys, we are over 23 minutes. It's amazing. It's amazing how fast the time goes by here with you guys. I love it. Like for real, for real. It's just amazing. There's, I don't think that I ever had a, a job where I feel like I'm not working. It's just amazing. Love it. Guys, any other question? It, now is the time to ask it before we wrap things up. Uh, I'm always scared of the lower time frames, And so I use the HTF and swing. Better upload. Yeah, El Toro, don't worry. I mean, I feel you. And by the way, do what is best for your wallet. Remember, you... Where is our loyalty, right? Where's our loyalty, right? Just ask, ask yourself that. 
where is your loyalty, right? And based on where is your loyalty, you're going to do whatever you can or the best decisions for where your loyalty is at, all right? Perfect. Merry Christmas to you and your family. And thank you, guys. Thank you. Let's see. Thank you so much, Rosie. Thank you, Major Payne. And Merry Christmas. Oh, I skipped that one. Moved out of the way. And Merry Christmas to you and everyone from here. Thank you so much, Major Payne. Pat Gons, Pat Gonsi, if you love your job, you will not be working one day on your life. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, maybe one. One or two days, right? <laughs> Just for fun. Oh, my God. This is looking worse. I need to get some sleep. All right, maybe Saturday. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Too much coffee. We're celebrating the Mandalorian. Yeah, I have it. I am prolonging. We have the the latest. Yeah, right. The dark sword, the dark saber one is the latest, isn't it? When I'm a little bit too far too far behind. I don't know. I really want to take like a week off and just watch it all like once. I mean, like. <laughs> Perfect. All right. I'm waiting for the next one to maybe come out. And I'm just like slowly going through those ones because I really want to, you know, like sit all day long and watch it. But there's money to be made right now in the market. So that's also interesting and amazing. As who is your friend. Yes. Yes. Thank you for that. Yep. All right, guys. It's time for me to wrap it up, guys. Thank you so much. And Feliz Navidad, Bob. Feliz Navidad, brother. Feliz Navidad. Uh, there are three seasons. Oh yeah, there's the three. Thanks for that rhythm, CTS rhythm, in the house, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much from the bottom of the heart for being here. Remember, guys, that you for me are my priority. You guys are the priority of the class. You guys are the priority of chart prank. That's why we are always, always, always working our best or giving our best to give you guys also a great indicators, like top of the line indicators great classes that's what we studied the indicators we developed stuff with the indicators we use the indicators ourselves all right and you can see that on the charts on the classes and also in the live streams and also while you be in premium to give you thanks we show you here first all our my all of our strategies Vipers, mind, and all of the guesses that we can be having. Like, for example, Alex of Crypto, he was here basically also calling out a couple of entry points. We try to give you the best, keep you up to date what's happening in the markets and always evolving. Guys, thank you so much. And as always, see you guys. Let me know. When? See you guys tomorrow.